this button, go to this page, and scroll 60. here. Not yet, not yet. Yeah. First he has to do this. There we 60. Go. There we go. 59. 58. This is a countdown. This is a You were getting ahead of yourself, Thor. This continues to be a countdown to the Slade and Mason show. 50, 49, 48. You're listening to the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. 45, 44, 43. This is the continued countdown. 41, 42, 38. Yes. 38. B.I. Vicky Bye. B.O. Bo. Vicky Bye. Bo. You. Boo. Vicky Bye. Bo. Boo. Please stand by. They call it the alphabet song. Nobody knows. Nobody knows that song. Dan. Yay. Say. I guess I'm a nobody. Mason show. 18, 17, stand by. 16, as we are 15, now delivering the countdown to the Slade and Mason show. 12, 11, yes, 10. This is our countdown. You know, I can get rid of the countdown because, seven, you know, that was a, six, a hold back from when we were five, alive. 4, we it's up to you. 3, 2, oh, no, just, 1. All right. It's one more thing to pop it. Now broadcasting from the Dan Mason Studios, deep in the heart of Virginia, it's the Slade and Mason Show. Here come the zeros. <laughs> I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason Show. Well, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Wait I can't minute. even Before get it out. Get so I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Mason. Good morning, Mr. <laughs> Slade. Yeah. Right, before I get started, here's a riddle for you. Mm -hmm. What candy should you never eat when you have false teeth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a there's a long, long list, but uh <laughs> No, Snickers with caramel. It's like <laughs> it's it like a, with no teeth. That's like a that's like a six hour chew, man. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my All God. Right. All right, real quick. Here we go. <laughs> this is the Slade and Mason Show. It's all about you. It's about us. It's more about us. Yeah, it's more about us. It's it's like a radio program. Um, no, it isn't. All right, where, where we share with you news stories and things we see throughout the week. It's our take on it. Basically, we're saying the things you're thinking, but we you you you, you would just never hear this on the radio. Well, not, not for very long because that, that jock could be pulled off, but... <laughs> We're just having fun. Don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy all the music is brought to you by Dano Music. Dano Music because, well, we're just cheap and we can't afford to get the real music anyway. Uh, don't forget to check out that picture from 2016 on Instagram. Tell your friends, neighborhoods, cops, people you see on the street that you listen to the Slade Mason Show. And mortal enemies. That's right. And as always, we are brought to you by I See Something, I See Treats, and we'll talk about that after the break. Mr. Slade. All right. If you could stall for about 20 more seconds, I'll be ready. It's the most wonderful time <laughs> of the year. Uh, <laughs> I can't start this live video because of where I'm sitting. All oh, right. Well, okay. Gracious. Well, first off, Mr. Mason. Yes, sir. You know, again, we try and we are pretty doggone successful at avoiding bringing all the bad news that everybody else wants to bring you. Almost a full year. Um, we did. We did. Well, actually, if you think about it, when we started this, it was over two and a half years ago, the second time out. Uh, yes. It's all been positive news. It has. Well, it's like, and, and I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be positive too. Okay. Because yesterday, yesterday, all the my great mm -hmm. state of Pennsylvania, or I'm sorry, the great Commonwealth of mm -hmm. Pennsylvania gave us the 46th president of the United States of America, Joseph R. Biden. Did you lie? <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> it was stolen uh, from me. Just, you know, it's like it is a. Uh, I expected this to happen. I did expect this to happen. I didn't expect it to be a smooth transition. Mm -hmm. I actually looked for. I really, I really looked for him to like go around boarding up the house. You know, 
<laughs> all right, do we have enough nails in this door? Check the West Wing. Take, um, take all the J's out of the keyboards. Just like <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, it's like we want you to uh, wipe off the H and C off the uh, the sink dispenser. We want <laughs> four minutes to be angry and surprised. <laughs> but it's like, you know, it it um it's really kind of sad because instead of being able to go out with some style, mm. with some dignity, with some grace, he's going to go out just like a big fat baby. Yeah, the, <laughs> the Marines will be escorting him out. That's a, you know, that's it's a like, uh, who is the head of the Senate right now? Uh, I can never remember this guy's name. Uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, <laughs> and, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. What is his name? I know Mitchell, who Mitchell McConnell. Yeah, Mitch McConnell. McConnell. Uh -huh. Okay, you're no help in any of these things, Dan. You make Thank me look you. like an idiot. All Thank right, you. so they, they, they no, make you look Mitchell like a genius. <laughs> they asked Mitch a couple of months ago because, you know, there was talk of, you know, this non non good transition to power mm -hmm. and. You know, again, maybe he will just not leave. <laughs> and McConnell said, well, I can tell you this. Come January 20th, there will be a new president. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday, yesterday, <laughs> I mean, it's the first real shot that he's taking at him. But then Biden said, yeah, I'm sure we've got some real good folks who will be able to remove him from office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I do have to say this, though, and, and, mm -hmm. and instead of it being a rant, it's almost like a prayer. Because, you know, Joe Biden is 78 years old and yep. he is walking into one minefield of a mess. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, let's not even talk about the little things. Let's talk about coronavirus. You still got 20,000 people or 10,000 people a day kicking off on this. Yeah. And he's got to attack that first. Yep. Then he's got to get this racial strife together. And it's like, and I think he's doing a good job with that. Yeah, I do think oh, I he's doing a good job with that. But I, I am hoping, I, I really do, I pray that this guy has got to have the intestinal fortitude to be able to deal with these problems and deal with them with a level head, unlike others, without mentioning names. I don't understand what you're saying. It was fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm the president and again. Now, and now I'm going to tell you one thing that I want you to do for the next two and a half months. Yeah. Uh -huh. President Trump is a very, he is a broad man. I mean, as far as wide, he's, he's big. He's huge. And, <laughs> and he's got a gut. That's why he gets big, long ties to cover it. Yes. <laughs> like that, that's going to cover that. But I'm telling you, he is, when you know, he, when he's wearing that presidential overcoat, you know, the, the winter overcoat mm -hmm. that they wear. Yeah. The next time you see him doing that and wearing that and he decides to say anything, look at his hands. <laughs> You just won't. You won't give up on that. <laughs> I am not giving up on that. He has got the tiniest hands for a man as broad as he is now, that I have ever seen. Now I did find out that yes, his hands are about eighty-five percent smaller than <laughs> the rest of. There is actually a handprint. Apparently, he did in one of his buildings, and you can go ahead and put your hand in the handprint, and a lot of and people you see like, that covers it up. Yeah. <laughs> You can download a PDF of his handprint. <laughs> Once again, slave is right. <laughs> uh, yeah, smaller than 85% of the He's going to go ahead and investigate this, and he's going to do all this research on it. Uh, hey, he wants to make sure that I'm covering the bases. He's got little tiny hands for such a big, broad body. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh he never probably picked up a hammer in his entire life man i'll tell you, you that kidding? yeah right sure a hammer ha. he's he was a general contractor slash uh my dad gave me a lot of money but anyway all right exactly. so, there, you go. there it is it's like my dad gave me a million bucks to get started and i haven't turned back so yeah yeah so you but mentioned now, go now, ahead like i said the work really has to begin it's like i mean there is not going to be any time for honeymoon periods or anything else it's like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are going to have to hit the ground running. And I mean, running at a full sprint. And here's the problem. I'm just, I'm, I'm just pulling for him. Here's the other problem. He can't do anything until January 21st. That was the other point that I was going to make, because yep. I tell you what. Hey, listen, Donald Trump can wreak a lot of havoc over the next two and a half months. Uh -huh. Executive orders and everything else, man. I mean, he can just flush us right down the old standard. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's going to he's going to be pardoning everybody. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody. You get a pardon, you get a pardon. You get a pardon. 
pardon and you get a pardon. And you get a pardon. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pardon him. Jeffrey Dahmer, come on out. It's okay. Here's a cheeseburger. Try these instead. You know, he's he's just, everybody's coming out. Everybody's coming out. It's, it's, yeah, but he's not going to pardon Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's got to be one happy lady on the planet. <laughs> because, you know, Joe Biden beat Donald Trump in electoral votes mm -hmm. the same margin that he beat Hillary. <laughs> it's called it's called the karma. Exact, the exact same margin. Oh, and someone like, someone else made an interesting point. They said in all the key states where they were running like neck and neck, the number of missing votes are almost identical, unfortunately, to the people who died of COVID. <laughs> if he had those votes in his key states for those people who did not want to wear a mask, he would be our next president. I, I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up. Well, you know, uh, I was, uh, I had, I got, I got the news secondhand. I work at a radio station. I got the news secondhand mm -hmm. um, because number one, I was off. So I don't, I wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. And um, so Brenda came in she said, you know, yeah, we got a new president. And I thought, wow. Yeah. Somebody has pulled the wool over her eyes. <laughs> Cause I didn't believe, I didn't believe that the Keystone state was going to, going to do it, but mm -hmm. they did. I yeah. mean, it's like they, uh, and 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 he got the big blue wall back in the Midwest. You know, we got Wisconsin and all that oh, all lined yep. up there. And now, like I say, the work has got to begin like like today. You know, it actually should have begun yesterday. And I understand that Mr. Biden has been doing his homework so that he doesn't come in there blind. Mm -hmm. Of course, he worked there eight years. I think he should have an idea what's going on. He knows a few people. He knows where skeletons are buried. He knows where the yes, sir, right there where they're buried. So. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. So you mentioned uh, when we were talking about COVID, this is like the first time we've talked about it. <clears throat> That's right. We have avoided, ladies and gentlemen, we avoided bringing everybody down. We were like the president. We didn't want to alarm anybody. No, didn't want to make a big issue. Uh, but I think I mentioned to you that uh, we do indeed. Yes. Have... struck the home, ladies and gentlemen. Our little family has been invaded by the COVID. <laughs> it, has, it has hit the Mason household. Yep. Oh, no, dad. Yep. Oh, dad, dad, dad. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. My firstborn male child, yes, was... Uh, Kill him! Was Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice goat for you, maybe? Um, so <laughs> he was at, uh, he was uh, hanging with his girlfriend, and she wasn't feeling yeah. very well. And, uh, him. <laughs> and then uh, a day later, mom got, you know, she went for her testing. Apparently, the whole family wasn't feeling well, and I'm like... Okay, so, so yeah, he he tested positive and I tested negative, so far. Right now, right now, yes, so far. So I'm gonna wait this two weeks, so it's another till next Sunday. He's still sick, so uh, kill him. Kill <laughs> <blow>. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what. Yeah, COVID, and you know, well, anyway, uh, things I'll have to talk to you about off the air. <laughs> oh, geez. okay. Well, so like I said, so COVID nineteen has struck our little family. It's mm -hmm. gotten real close to us, and I, I just don't know what I'm going to do because I, I just can't imagine this. Oh, this is well, so terrible. He's doing okay, and it's interesting because it, he's got um, the A positive blood, which is like not so great to have COVID with, and he's actually doing okay with it. Just a lot of coughing, a lot of pain, coughing, pain, coughing, pain. Yeah, I was. Then the O negative is the, is the blood to have. O negative and O pod O's O O factors. Yep. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I don't know what my blood type is. You ever? I tried to find out. They wouldn't tell me. Did you ever donate you know, blood? No, not donate blood. It's like they get enough of it. It's like every time I go into the hospital, it's like it's every 20 minutes they're taking like two vials. Yeah. <laughs> and they wouldn't tell me my blood type. And then after that, they're like, you know. We keep taking blood out of him, and he's just becoming more anemic these days. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he just won't fall down. <laughs> we we should have him give another blood test. See what's going on. Uh, like I I you know again I but I, I might I might have O blood. Okay, <clears throat> but you're not. But we'll sure. never know. They'll mm -hmm. never tell me. So it's like okay, I, I, my blood might be able to save the world, and they're never going to know. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, so now we have a new president, guys. This is this is uh, uh I, I think it's a. I think it's, I think it's a I think it's a moment of healing, which is going to be great. Um, yeah, I'm I'm I think I'm a happy camper. 
Because well, you know, it's like I'm not. You know, the fact that I mentioned this last week. I think the biggest problem that the American public has for the last four years is they're just tired. Mm -hmm. They're tired of the uncivility. They're tired of the bad behavior. You know, again, even Vladimir Putin backs away from Donald Trump because of all the scandals that he's got going on. Yeah, now, was... you know, you know, <laughs> this is a guy who Donald Trump was chapping his lips, kissing that guy's mm -hmm. butt. And this guy said, I no, I think I don't think I want to go and associate with you, Donald. Yeah, okay. some, someone Please posted. Do not send any more, don't send any more kitty cat emojis. <laughs> yeah, someone someone had posted a uh, a Reddit picture of like uh, a fake screen phone screen from uh, Vladimir Putin's. Yeah, he's got his, his shirt off. He's got that as his background screen. Now, pop ups. He goes, "Missed a call from Donny. Missed a second call from Donny. Missed a third call from Donny. Missed a fourth." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, again, uh, and and here's the thing, Donald. Mm -hmm. The last week week of the campaign donald would go into his big gatherings and what am i gonna do if i lose am i gonna have to leave the country yeah <laughs> i have to move to alaska <laughs> to move out the country yeah <laughs> they don't even want you listen trudeau wrote a, a congratulatory note to um biden, biden yesterday he was the first world leader you know again it's like and he's like the rest of the note that they didn't didn't read was um yeah, we we're so glad you're in there because that guy who was running this place before was still. <laughs> <Dang> <laughs> it just goes to show, boys and girls, anyone can become president. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> See, you know, it's like I used to have a philosophy years ago. Mm -hmm. you no, know who's going to be the king and the queen? <laughs> there ain't no ifs, ands, or buts. And the fact is, is that here in this country, supposedly, Anybody can become president. That's right. I have great arguments against that right now. I'm sure glad that you brought that up. Yeah. Do you know who ran for president this week? Uh, oh, uh, um, uh, Kanye West. Yes, Kanye West. Yes. Kanye West is like he ran for president and it's like, and you know, he got, he voted for himself, but somehow or another that became 61 votes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how that worked out because uh, it's magic. Uh, yeah. Uh, one vote is one vote. And the fact that this idiot, no, I, I know what it is now. There were actually 60 other idiots who thought so little of the election process that they thought, well, we'll fix it. We'll just mess it up. We'll vote for Kanye West. <laughs> he was actually on the ballot in a number of states, though. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. All right, wait, let me go. Hold let on. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to fact check because that's what I was told. Hold on. I'm what? bringing this up now because, uh, like I say, there aren't that many stupid people in the world, I didn't think. Uh, how about this guy who bet <laughs> five million on Trump to win? Uh, let's see. 60,000 votes of the presidential election. Uh, after my ballot counting, passes. Kanye garnered three percent of the vote in Kentucky, <clears throat> Arkansas, and Tennessee. Yeah, he was on the ballot in. in uh, let's see, he was on in Colorado. Let's see. It doesn't tell me all the I, you, like you gotta you gotta hunt for it. Here we go, Kanye. Uh, Kanye. He spent ten point three million dollars on his presidential campaign. He appeared on the ballot in just twelve states. Yeah, he captured four percent of the vote in Utah, Oklahoma, Minnesota, and Vermont. 3% of the vote in Kentucky, Arkansas, and Tennessee. Mm. And he got 2% of the vote in Louisiana and Colorado. And I'm telling you, I want to know the names of every one of those 61 people because we want, <laughs> when we get ready to do the next departure, we want to go ahead and, and deport somebody. Those people are going to be right in the front of the boat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I guess, like I said, this is a, I, I consider the elections an important thing, especially presidential elections. And the fact that this bozo is like, first off, he's going to make a mockery of it. Mm -hmm. He takes a picture of him, you know, getting, casting his vote, but he doesn't mean it. And, and why do we need that? I, I mean, it's like, you know, there are categories for comedy. And so unfortunately he doesn't said that either. Cause he's not very funny. So if you, would you ever run for president? Hell No. No, 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 no. I got, man, it's no, no. Are you kidding? There are too many skeletons back there, Jack. <laughs> I mean, I got a whole graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, absolutely. 
Obviously not. Uh, <laughs> not on a bed. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Just. I think that's interesting that you would even ask me such a question. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> Member gang, vote JD for 2024. Oh, God, oh God. no, no, no. <laughs> no, because some of those bones I don't ever want to see on the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame. What a shame. All you right. Are so- guy. You are a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see we have why we have you on the show. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> oh God, um, yeah. Okay. So uh let's see, what else? Are, are, are we, are, so we're done with the election right now? We're done yeah, talking. I mean, like I say, I think I've gotten it all out of my system. You know, all again, right. it's I just want to see I mean <laughs> my, my dream picture. <laughs> uh, Joe Biden is taking the oath. <laughs> so help me God. And so help me God. <laughs> And here come the Secret Service, and they're grabbing this guy with his winter coat. Hey, you can't do this to me. I'm the president of the United States. Oh, Lord. You don't know who I am. Yeah, we do. Come here. Come here. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. President. Come on. Let's go in Air Force One. Come on. Here, cheeseburger. Come on. Little hand. Let me have that. I'll take that, please. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, my God. I, I hope it's. I hope it is All a right, smooth I'm... transition. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, you hope in one hand and poop in the other and see which one gets full first. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? No, it's Christmas time. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. There's Christmas candy out, and there are Christmas trees. And I've already got my um, your ordering package for your kitties from Amazon. And everybody says, go ahead and order your Christmas gifts now. Get them. I'm like, okay. So apparently it is Christmas time. I haven't had a first frost yet, but apparently it's Christmas time. Well, so you there see, you go. Yeah, I, I, so last week <clears throat> I, I tried to get Brenda up because I wanted her to get up to go to get the candy that's on sale because after Halloween, everything goes on sale. Well, she was a lazy butt. So it's like, you know, again, I didn't get any. So I looked, but I did look and it's like, you know, they, they didn't even have a transition. Nope. nope. <laughs> it went right from Halloween candy to Christmas candy. Yeah. They, they took down the orange box and they put up the red, <laughs> white, and green box. <laughs> Still has Snickers in it. <laughs> yes, they, and you take the M&M's and they take off their Halloween mask and then they have the little fur collars and the Christmas bells around their ears. That's right. All you got to do is like use a use a massive separating machine that laser beam and, and separate the different flavors back at uh, the, the red and the greens and push them off into a little bag special off to the side. And you save the other ones for, for next year. Yeah. For Easter and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh yeah, Christmas time is that the candies shelves are packed Christmas to the rafters. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shove Christmas down your throat, guys. It's uh Yeah, but you know what? It's been such a crappy year for retailers. We wanna make sure that you get the Christmas spirit early. Yes, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have an ad. Spend, spend money, spend money that you don't have. Mm. Oh, so the stimulus package, it's coming speak, someday. Speaking of spending, see, you're making me lose up all my my stuff I want to talk about. But um, Burger King this past week, I know you're probably going to talk about food, but that you're talking about why the nation's so big. But um, Burger King did something really, 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 really interesting. They tweeted, <laughs> "You know what? If you're at McDonald's and you feel peckish for a, Mac, a Big Mac, go for it." And everybody was like, what? And then they read the next line. It was like, we need to support local restaurants. So please can. <laughs> yep. And people are like, did they just say that? Oh my gosh, I'm going over to Burger King. I've never been to Burger King before, but if they could support McDonald's, that's really cool. Which I don't think they intended it to be a marketing gimmick. I think they were very sincere about it. Like, hey, fast food restaurants are having a really, really rough go of it. Okay. You know, they're all uh-huh. using like, uh, fast food you know it might be better yeah so um oh, wait a minute. you know what what came in very plain text to me this morning what that you know where wavy is is that a is that a radio station 
television station. W A V Y. Wavy. I'm, I'm going to say that's well. So of, W means it's somewhere here uh, east, east of the. Yeah. No idea. Uh, it's Norfolk, of Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. okay. But here's what it says. And I don't think I can do this. So I'm going to give you the cue and you'll have to do the sound effects. McDonald's ba, 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 ba. is bringing back quack, quack. December the 2nd. It is. It's back. Oh, my God. It's back. It's the big rib sandwich. It's back. Oh so we knew it was coming back, but we didn't have a date. That's awesome. December what? Uh, December the 2nd. December 2nd, guys. You got You got less than a month. So and it is available for a limited time. Limited time. That means the pig was cheap for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and they got those grinders going, baby. So if you want yes, mechanically sir. separated meat, mm, mm, mm. get yourself a mouthful of grizzle and barbecue sauce. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so... Uh, advertising budget see it well you know it's it's um it was a it was like i said last week it's it was a it was a marketing ploy and now it's like uh, it's got to stay forever uh, uh, so uh, i don't know uh, i don't know uh, so so what is your <clears throat> what's your your most favorite uh fast food company organization uh now, by the way this is not an endorsement this is just a thought process go ahead but if the if the president of Burger King is listening, I want you to know that I spend a lot of money on junior robbers with cheese and no onions. There you and go. I know, I know now why I get the junior robber with cheese with no onions because Brenda got a junior robber with cheese with onions. And I got to tell you, I have never known onions that stunk so badly. Mm. I mean, my whole house smelt for an hour. Isn't it great? After I took her out. You know, again, I uh, geezy peasy. What kind of onions are they using? They're not using uh, uh, Vidalias. No, they use uh, they here in the United States they use white onions, but apparently outside the United States they use red onions. Well, like I say, whatever onions they're using, they need to stop because I'm telling you, it really will bring a tear to your eye when they open that package. I love them with the onions in there. It's delicious. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 no. Oh no. yeah, baby. I, I did. I became unbenefited. I told Brenda she should never come to my house again. <laughs> <laughs> and if she does, don't bring that stuff to the house. No, 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 no I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I that's mean, what, know, come on. That, that's what gives it that special flavor, though. That's where the yeah, right, uh, yeah, it makes you smell like you've been eating out of toilets. Now, I did hear something bad about the Whopper Junior, by the way. What's that? You, you should never order it. Why? Because it is the most sat around of all the burgers they have. Because it, it is not eaten as frequently as the whopper oh so you see it's that day old flavor that gives it that just that that's just tastiness yes <laughs> we'll we'll go with that <laughs> day, so friends if you want a day old flavor order the big mac jr it's gonna be no, delicious the whopper jr with cheese it's like you know again i like i i used to like the whopper but that's that's too big and and, you know, again, when you take the first bite out of it, then it just falls all over your hand because the bun's all soggy. Mm -hmm. And the tomato, yeah. But, uh, yeah, well, that's that's the problem. I See, I, I your appetite starts to diminish as you get older. You, you can't eat that big, huge sandwich as well. That's the other problem. So, yep. so uh, Whopper Jr. with fries. No cheese because that gets stuck in my teeth. Oh. No, see, again, you, Whopper you, Jr. with cheese, no onions. Don't, doesn't see, it get stuck that, in your teeth? Uh, no, I take them out. One oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, I see now you bought this up. Now I got to tell the story. All right. So All right, hurry up. We got a break. When, go I go to restaurants, when I go to restaurants, it's like, I, I'm going to eat. No, <laughs> ifs, ands, or buts about it. and I have never allowed, you know, my, my lack of teeth, uh, to, to prevent this. Mm -hmm. So I will sit down and it's like, and I will order what I want. And let's just say I ordered a Reuben. Okay. Well, before the Reuben hits the table, here comes a paper towel. <laughs> And in go the teeth. <laughs> and now I am ready to do battle. That's I do that all the time, but it's like, but at least I am discreet about it. Cause it's like, you know, 
kids see that and it's like and they freak out it's like ah <laughs> the man's coming apart <laughs> 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 Goodness for this break. Sadly, however, we will return to the Slade and Mason show. Today in history, November 8, 1519. Hernan Cortez enters Tenochtitlan, an Aztec ruler. Moctezuma welcomes him with a great celebration, and then he later takes over the place. <laughs> 1620, the Battle of White Mountain takes place near Prague, ending a decisive Catholic victory in only two hours. That's not bad. I've heard some sermons go on a little longer than two hours. 1895, while experimenting with electricity, Wilhelm Röntgen discovers X-rays. As an experiment, he took a picture of his wife's hand and quickly sent a bill off to the HMOs. 1917, the People's Commissar gave authority to Vladimir Lenin, Leon Trotsky, and Joseph Stalin. Well, there's a trifecta if I ever heard one. 1960, John F. Kennedy defeats Richard Nixon in one of the closest presidential elections in the 20th century to become the 35th president of the United States. Uh, Richard Nixon's diary. Note to self. Uh, do not sweat on television. And finally, 2011, the potentially hazardous asteroid 2005YU55 passes within 0.85 lunar distances from the Earth of a mere 201,700 miles. How far is that? Uh, about the distance you can drive your 87 Toyota between oil changes. I'm Dan Mason, and that's November 8th. When you're out on the road and you want something good to eat and you don't want to waste no goddamn time, you want some food fast, tasty, cheap, come on down to Brimley's where we only got five things. We got soda pop, we don't even got no diet, so don't even f***ing ask. We got the best goddamn chicken sandwich you ever had and we got a cheeseburger that's second to none. That leaves us with two more items for our menu. Cause remember, we only got five things. That leaves us with french fries, crispy, delicious, moist on the inside, and lots of goddamn salt. What could that fucking fifth item be? How about the best goddamn macaroni and cheese you ever fucking put in your mouth? That's right. Ripley's only got five things. Soda, chicken sandwich, a cheeseburger, french fries, mac and cheese. And don't ask us for a goddamn salad. And don't ask for a goddamn diet soda. And if you don't like the cheese, we'll f***. And peel it off, because we ain't doing no special orders. They's all getting cheese on them. And if you want condiments, we got ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, relish, and diced onions. Help your <laughs> himself, because we're not here to serve you. We're here to serve you. Come down to Brimley's. Brimley's. Really good food. Damn good food. Now available in 28 great locations with curbside offerings. Drinking and I will satisfy your soul, but I just keep on drinking. Yes, I keep on drinking. Yeah, I just keep on drinking till good liquor carry me down. That my woman told me about 15 years ago. Bill, you gonna drink one these mornings and you never drink no more, but I will just keep on drinking. Yes, I keep on drinking. Yeah, I just keep on a drinking till good liquor carry me down. Now I wake up in the morning holding a bottle tight. When I lay down at night, mama, it's a gallon out of sight because I just keep on a drinking. Yes, I keep on drinking. But I just keep on a drinking till good liquor carry me down.
Yes, I went to the doctor with my head in my hand. The doctor said, Big Bill, I think I'll have to give you monkey glands because you just keep on drinking. Yes, I keep on drinking. I'm going to keep on a drinking till good liquor carry me down. God, my woman told me to stop drinking and come on home. Say, if you don't, Big Bill, some other man gonna carry your business on, but I'm just gonna keep on a drinking. Yes, I'm gonna keep on drinking. I'm just gonna keep on a drinking till good liquor carry me down. Yeah, that's your cue. I, I forgot. That's the button I got pressed. I was just having some fun, well, fun there. I can't even <laughs> We return you now to the Slade and Mason Show. Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason, and this is the Slade and Mason Show. Okay, all right, all right. So that was Big Bill Brunzi with Good Liquor Gonna Carry Me Down. And, <laughs> and why are we playing that? <laughs> <laughs> well, today uh, is National yeah. Harvey Wallbanger Day. Oh, God. Yes. So that is basically a um, uh, it, it's a 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 screwdriver with a layer of Galliano on top. See, again, and, like I said, I'm so far removed from drinking. Yeah, ah. so it was very, very popular, uh, late 60s, very mid-70s. Um, like, everybody had, like, Galliano. It was a tall, huge bottle. Tasted like, well, it had, like, it had an anise and cinnamon and clove. It was pretty nasty. So Yeah, it sounded pretty gross. Tasted like grass clippings. But if you <laughs> add it with the orange <laughs> and the vodka, it makes it kind of nice and tasty. So that's that's what the dealio is. Anyway, um, yep. So today is National um, Harvey Wallbanger Day. Go ahead and have a Harvey Wallbanger. Bring back the 70s, just like you remember the disco beats. Uh, you know, anyway. Oh, Lord. Um, it's like I tried to forget those. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. But um, anyway, this portion of the Slade Mason Show is brought to you by I See Something, I See Treats. Uh, my buddy Sheila Keenan at 804-617-8827 is standing by. Operators are standing by waiting for you to call in. Um, the, what is it all about? Well, they are a uh, shaved ice treat uh, truck. And what they do is they go to your place of business. They can go to your uh, your church. They can go to a birthday party, a fundraiser, what have you. And they set up shop. They have these really cool Italian ice machines that they spin the block of ice. And it shaves off in this beautiful cascade of this soft, pillowy, just ice. It's beautiful. And then they add the flavors, and you have this nice, delicious treat. So you can give them a call at 804-617-8827. She'll come down for your party or what have you. And they're available at www.icey.com. Leave the G off, for goodness sakes. icey.com, 804-617-8827. I've been there several times, really tasty, really yummy. Um, again, my one of my go-tos, well, I got two. I got the, the pina colada one, of course, because, you know, alcohol-based. And the other one is the the orange cream. That That's really good, too. So, And, of course, there's the wild cherry. Uh, the grape is actually pretty good. All right. Anyway, all of them are really good. So give her a call, 804. I have had absolutely none of these. <laughs> and so it's like, you know, again, he's just going on and on about how oh, delicious man. they are. They are awesome. Yeah. yeah. 804-617-8827. 804 <laughs> 617-8827. Give Sheila a call. I see something. I see trees. Tell her I sent you and JD did not send you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, I got a question. <laughs> uh, you know, you are, uh, you've never been a really big fella, have you? Mm, so in high school, I was mm, overweight. Yes, yes. Okay, but but so after that, no, it burned off. Pounds, right? It's what? Uh, yeah. I'm, you're talking overweight. I'm in high school. I weighed 310. Shut up. Yeah, no. My, my scale doesn't run in, run in horror when I go step on it, but no. All right. Well, there is a new petition out there, and I am standing up right now to defend the right for these uh, 
hefty gentleman. Okay. A change.org petition has been started to get overweight men to wear bras. Um, <laughs> yeah. no. The petition reads, I think we should all support this because if girls have to walk around with bras on everywhere they go because we have boobs, so should overweight men. Well, here's the difference. <laughs> Here's the <laughs> Wait a minute now. I'm not saying this is going to get me taken off the air. I know it, but go ahead. <laughs> but if a man has a bigger chest than I do, he best be wearing a bra, period. <sighs> How is it fair that girls have to wear bras because their boobs are naturally there? But a man that chooses to have big boobs by being overweight doesn't have to. I can answer those questions in so many ways, my friend. <laughs> you and I both. Because no one has ever said, wow, look at those. <laughs> no one has, yeah, no one's ever gone like a double up. Whoa, hey, yeah, dude. <laughs> and because I have hair on my chest, it adds to the view. <laughs> Although I do know a few ladies who have hair on their chest, so it's like, I guess that doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> the, you, the, the male, the male bra, I think didn't, didn't Seinfeld do something like that called Seinfeld. the bro. Yeah. Who came out with the bro. Um, uh, you know, I, this was something that was kind of traumatic when I was a kid. Same here. So I, I would not. I, I would go to places that, you know, you could go swimming. Yes. And I'd have to leave my shirt on because, well, it was, I, yeah, I had these... it was, yeah, it yeah. was not. It was, yeah. I was there, too. I was there, too. Yep. You and I both. See, we are twins. And, now, and see, but now <clears throat> I look down and I say, oh, man, that's a manly chest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I looked down and go, oh, where'd all that white hair come from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, wow, is that dust? <laughs> Did I have a powdered donut? <laughs> it doesn't come off. <laughs> I keep showering and <laughs> just keeps getting, yep. Like I said, so, all right, so I've gone ahead and attacked that. That's great. Uh, and bros. Well, where bras. <sighs> I got to tell you. Well, you know, the, the, the problem is that we, as a nation, and, and you're going to probably talk about this in a couple of minutes, is we really have great access to food, no matter where you go. Too great access to food. Yeah, just way too good. I mean, there are countries where people are just eating beans and rice, rice and beans. And our doggone glad to have it. Yep, yep. And here we're like, <sighs> I had to get to the domestic lime. Oh, man. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. In my Harvey Wallbanger. Um, oh, geez, I'll tell you the world. Mm -hmm. What is the world coming to? Nah, 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 nah. Hey, so uh, last night at the bequest of uh, 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 the sicky and uh, my daughter, I made beer. Ge nope, gen well, yeah, but General Sal's chicken. <sighs> Do you eat that? Yes. Uh, you know, again, I'm very particular about it because if you put too much of something in there, it'll make it too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's all sugar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. You, right. you, you of all people have to be careful with it. So, but, um, so no, I, I, I did. I start, I started from scratch and I, you know, fried up little chicken pieces and, oh, by the way, the trick is to get them to be crispy is, uh, 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 uh baking powder. About a about a two teaspoons for every cup of, of uh, flour, some baking powder, and it, and something magical happens. The outside surface and crisps it up. Anyway, so uh, made that, and that's probably the first fried food I've had in about three to four months. <laughs> and my digestive tract this morning reminded me of that. Your what? My digestive tract. Ah. I can't, I, I can't do the heavy fat stuff anymore. So the, nope. grease, the greasy foods. Is, you learn that, boy, you learn that the hard way. That's yeah, the sad part. My, my digestive system said, no, we, we don't eat that anymore. Thank you. <laughs> anymore. No, sir. Yeah. So. so, yep. Um, let's see. So 
So I did make a, I made myself an egg burrito this morning with that homemade chipotle paste. Oh my gosh. Still eating that garbage, huh? Do you, <laughs> do you, you don't like spicy foods, do you? I, I used to, I used to love spicy foods, but uh, then they stopped loving me. Oh. And so we, we met, we met at the crossroads and just said, okay, that's it. You guys you, you exchanged boxes for stuff you had. And, you know, yeah, this was yours. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, we have been, uh, we have been uh, told that we need to make sure we wash our hands and wear our masks and social distance. Yes. I got to tell you a funny story that happened yesterday. Go. Uh, a ballot scanner had jammed in Des Moines, Iowa. And why? Because voters had hand sanitizer on. Oh. It had built up before the scanner stopped working. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh, my God. You know, they go across and they just scrape hand sanitizer across it. Mm -hmm. And by the way, uh, soap and water does just as well as hand sanitizer, by the way. Just for the record. For the record. Well, you know, it's like they, I don't know who they got this, uh, these, this thing from, but it's like they got... This uh, uh, it, it's a place that makes liquor. Uh, anyway, they made this hand sanitizer. It, they make liquor. Okay, who is it? I don't know. I don't have. I didn't take any because I didn't want. Uh, you know, I didn't want any of that crap on my hands. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? Uh, okay. Let's see here. I was looking for something. Uh, I can't find it. Hey, uh, that's just great. Okay, go on. I'm sorry. I'm looking for things. Oh, okay. So, um, to your point, yes, I, I, you were asking me if I was making beer, but yes, I made ale again this weekend. This is the first time in about 14 years that I decided I was going to make a stout. And the only reason I was making a stout is because it's. I've done all the other ales. I've done the West Coast and the East Coast. The uh, the the. the Indian pale ale and the American pale ales and all the other white ales. And I've tried the summer ale and I've tried the wheat ale and I've tried the, the citrus ale, which we've talked about. Oh, and I got a lot to be a drunk here. Yeah, I got it. So I, I've been avoiding the stout because what I've figured out a lot of times is I'll have a stout and I'll, I'll drink it and all of a sudden my stomach just clinches up for some reason. I can't figure out what's going on with it. So I've been avoiding it. So I said, forget it. I'm just going to do it. And I did, and I, 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 you know, pulled out the big kettle and I brewed it all up, and it looks like uh, black as tar. I mean, it is what? just black as tar. You're it, gonna drink that? Yeah. So the it actually looks like, you know, like if you took like molasses and mixed it up with water, like fifty fifty. That's how dark it is. Blackstrap molasses, the really dense stuff. Anyway, so I put it in my my uh, uh, fermenter, and I use the little fermenter thing, which is a kind of a, a sideways S, and you put water in it, and it allows CO2 to come out and keeps an airlock so oxygen can't get in and oxidize it because it will do the same thing. When you cut an apple and it browns out, it's the same yeah. thing. It oxidizes. So you don't want to oxidize your 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 wine, your ale, your anything. You with okay. me? Okay. Yep. So, it so, so it creates CO2, which set, settles like a blanket on top of the surface. But I pitched the yeast, and normally it takes 24 hours for the yeast to start bubbling. I'm sitting down watching Rick and Morty. Don't ask. And I'm hearing this. Blah, 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 blah. Two hours later, I'm, I'm thinking, whoa, that's pretty active yeast. So I came down this morning to do my, my Facebook post. And I look over and it looks like the bubbler threw up all over the container. <laughs> It, it got a little active last night, so it it foamed up. And and I don't know if you know anything about stout. When you pour a stout, you get that super thick head on top that just stays for like hours. So there's that in there as well. So yeah, I got a little bit of a cleanup to do uh, after the. Oh, after you haven't the show. cleaned it up yet? No, no. I mean, it was still bubbling through, and I said, you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. It's something I got to spend some time cleaning it up. But I'll I'll do that after the show. So, but. 
Um, but I was looking at the clock on the wall, and we did talk about, um, well, I got to play my Weird Al Yankovic song. Is that right? right? Let me get this ready. Hold on. Let me go to this page. Go to this page. Go here. Press this over here. Go off to this slider. Go. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Children of all ages. And children of all ages. And children of all ages, because you're part of this garbage, too. It's like we have the <laughs> with fattest society in the world. Why is that, Mr. And Slade? I'm going to tell you because it's like we have diets that include such great things as sugary drinks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sugary drinks. It's like, no, you can't have flavor if you don't have sugar. Most pizzas are in that garbage route because they are really junk. Let's not forget the great culprit, white bread. Mm. And uh, one more white thing that is bad for us. Most fruit juices. Yes, like I say, they have fruit in them, but they also have 10 tons of sugar. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. See, now, I'm guilty of this because I love Frosted Flakes. Sweet and breakfast cereals. I love Frosted Flakes. And I'm never going to stop eating them. But here's when we get into the good stuff. Okay. Fried, grilled, or broiled food. Yeah, come on, talk about this. You make all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Pastries, cookies, and cakes. These are things that are on our table every day. French fries, potato chips. Oh, gluten-free junk food. Uh, yeah, it's going to be better for you because it's gluten-free. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Low-fat yogurt. They're going to get you. Anything they call low-fat is supposed to be good for you. Low-carb junk foods. Yes, sir. But if you eat a pound of them, it's still a pound of food. <laughs> Ice cream. I haven't had a candy bar in so long. It's like, boy, sometimes I miss that. I did not realize that processed meat was so bad for you, but it is processed cheese as well. Let's see here. Most fast food meals. Yes, sir. You like that stuff from Mickey D's and you're going to pay for it. What? And what? That's yeah. bad for you? Yeah. And high calorie coffee drinks. Oh, but I went to Starbucks because it was so trendy. <laughs> and it's like, damn, you killed myself with the cappuccino. <laughs> and with added sugar or refined grains mm -hmm. not good for you highly processed foods yes and the bottom line is if you don't make it yourself you're probably killing yourself yep Eat it. which is why my partner is such a great cook yes yes that's the problem i cook really goodly Ah, <laughs> uh, yes so you see it and your goodly <laughs> cooking will start to show up on your waistline yes it will I'll be able to ah, it like this. Stop that. Stop that. I know you're meditating. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, let's see. So, by the way, who's your favorite Marx brother? Oh, uh, wow. I didn't like the Marx brothers. Oh. Uh, but if I had to say one, I would probably say Groucho. Okay. Not Zeppo? Not Zeppo. No, Zeppo was Zeppo was the weird looking one, you know. Right. He he he's always yeah. dressed up polite. Uh, he looked normal. Yeah. His eyes were always. He always had mascara on his eyes, so they darkened his eyes. And yeah. Such, you know, yeah. What no, about I what think, about what about the Marx Brothers? Zepto. Oh, I'm Ooh, sorry. Zepto. No, that should be Zepto second. I'm sorry. So anyway, Life Science has reported that we. Have you just left me right there. Did you, did you see that segue? Did you land there? Like, yeah, yeah. It smooth, uh, buddy. Yeah. Smooth. Thank you. Ah. We have now recorded the shortest possible time unit. It is called a zeptosecond. It is a trillionth of a billionth of a second or a decimal point followed by 21 zeros and then a one way down at the end. Do you notice that scientists have come up with the most ridiculous things to chart? I mean, <laughs> I mean you're not even going to be able to get a watch that has a zeptosecond on it. <laughs> Honey, you're, you're about 15 zeptoseconds late. I'm, uh... Yeah, it's like, exactly. So, I mean, why don't they do something useful with their time? Well, they get all this grants and such, and it's like, and, oh, we discovered a zeptosecond. Yeah, but I, I, I think the logic is now they can measure... Uh, uh, specific units of, of activity like they were talking about the uh, uh the time it takes to fly apart no nope, the amount of time it takes light particle to cross a hydrogen molecule that's 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 uh that's a zept it, it, it it's actually 247 zeptoseconds 
So are you, the, proud of, are you proud of yourself for having brought that up this morning? Yes, I am actually. Is that something <laughs> that you're going to sleep well knowing that you brought that up during the show this morning? It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on, it's going to be on the Slade and Mason show. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, Dan, here's your assignment for next week. Find another microwave that you can tear apart and put together. And put a detailed report on it. I don't want to do that. It's much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that was good. That's good. So he's not your favorite uh, Marx brother, huh? No, like I said, I didn't care for the Marx brothers. Oh, I, you okay. know, it's like I, 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 I barely cared for Laurel and Hardy. It's like I, I liked Laurel and Laurel and Hardy for a bit, and then I just totally just took, just couldn't take them anymore. Mm, mm. I'm a stooge man. I'm a Three Stooges guy or the Six Stooges. It's whoa, like you whoa, know, whoa, whoa. yes, sir. That's that's comedy at its best. I, I didn't get the the Marx brothers comedy mm. and Laurel. And Hardy were, well, they just weren't funny. Well, I think what was interesting with the Marx Brothers was the play on the English language. It was always a play on the English language, and that's what kind of set them apart. And they were, <clears throat> I couldn't zany. listen to them long enough to get play on the English. Oh my gosh, they were. Zany. I love that word, zany. Zany. They were considered zany. <laughs> I, I told somebody, somebody described my show once as zany, and I said, "Don't you ever call me that again, because <laughs> you and I will fight." <laughs> oh my gosh now jokingly you know i have a windows 7 computer that's running this entire program right oh god okay i got some news for you yeah. if you if you got a windows 10 computer uh, yeah. apparently microsoft has been installing apps without your permission oops <laughs> hey you know what what no they haven't uh, no they haven't because i don't have any room on the machine for it <laughs> <laughs> well they're busy wiping things out <laughs> They couldn't wipe the stuff out because it's like, I'm sure it's got a lot of junk on it. Oh, poor JD. No, like I say, it doesn't what? bother me. Well, that's what they're doing. They're doing that right now. And and apparently is a big to-do, and I'll post that in there as well. As a, what? Oh, Freddy. Uh, all right, now I got to pack all this stuff up. Put it in the bag. Freddy, just... No? That's it? Are you sure he hasn't miscounted? No, he he's right. Look at the clock. Last week's been changed. Look at the clock on the wall. I can't because, like I say, it says the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. you got to work at a radio station to appreciate this next story. You know, I do a, a public affairs program, half hour, talk to people, blah, blah, blah. Runs at 8 o'clock in the morning. Unless you don't set the time back. Oops. That runs at seven and people come in at eight going, where's the program? <laughs> so we had to run it again this morning. <sighs> Hi, I'm JD like, Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason show. What a radio when it ran radio station. Say, say, say goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Slade. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Slade. Go say goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, Mr. Mason. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. Hey, you know, like, uh, I got all my other work done, so it's like I can actually walk out the door when this stops playing or we stop playing on the phone, on the radio. Okay. On the, uh, yeah. the, uh, the internet. The internet. Yeah. Here we go. stuff is over for this week all right team you know the drill so yeah, if you're enjoying the slate mason Bye. show Bye. and you want to see more episodes Bye. make sure you hit the subscribe button down yonder and hit the bell you gotta do both or something bad will happen thanks for watching see you next week bye